Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a cross port of ROM Color OS on U Euphoria and the developer has worked a lot on this ROM. He has fully Englishized this ROM and uh, fixed everything and he's still trying to work hard to make it actual uh, like a uh, firmware but I don't like this ROM but still let's just take a look I have not set it up. Okay, there it is and it looks like a much uh, newer version actually. Uh, so if I hold the iPhone side by side, it completely looks like an iPhone with the icons and everything. As you can see the weather over here, it's still the blue over there. The settings, settings quite look actually pretty similar. If you open over here, still everything is just the same, the setting. You can see actually they have a lot of similarities. They are straight up rip off the iOS. As you can see, you do get the settings just like that. And if you go to the bottom, you still get the settings just like the iPhone where you can adjust individual apps right from over here. Like just the camera for camera options over here. I can go to the photos on camera over here. Do I get the swipe from left? Okay, so that's not ripped. If I go to the top, I get the normal settings like display, jugger roll and everything. It's just like an iPhone. Uh, display and everything you don't get anything fancy let's just go to the gesture and motions you get quick gesture smart cover about phone info it must be running lollipop as you can see 5.1.1 it's not marshmallow if you go here you get the oppo account the o cloud downloads and everything the system apps nothing of needed here you get the security you can self diagnose phone and everything you get the color control this was personal thing actually it, i can't like remember this being in the oppo phone you can adjust this thing it doesn't adjust the saturation but i still don't know you can apply the grayscale over here okay everything is working because the color service over here saturation okay there it is but the euphoria weirdly like adjust the saturation of red so i don't touch the saturation buttons at all you can adjust the value of it maybe make it a bit brighter wow this looks pretty cool there you go do you find some similarities everything is just ripped over here there is no originality at all it's just the same if you go to the wallpapers okay the layout of the wallpaper is pretty the same but bit weird over here you can also set up as lock view and desktop preview everything is just ripped as the ios there is no originality over here my god okay there you go set it up as a home screen you do get the calendar over here icons are also the same Let's just compare it side by side to our iPhone. Okay, calendar looks a bit weird, but still this one looks like the Mayo I want straight up. If you go to the weather, weather must be the same. Um, weather is still the same, pretty much the same because uh, when I set up my iPhone, it was still the same, but I don't know, there is some bug. The weather is not showing up right now. As you can see, both look pretty same. You can do get the security app. You can boost from your privacy. Okay, so not other like other Chinese ROM. This security app is much nothing <laughs> over here. There is a wireless detection, a boost, and everything. But if you go to the My UI and everything, uh, like a fly most, there are shit ton of options over here. Do you find some similarities? Well, I can't. There's a backup restore, the sound recorder, contacts, everything is over here. Let's go to the camera. Almost the animation is also the same. Okay, so the camera on the color OS is still not fixed. Uh, that's the thing. But you can still see the icon layout and everything. Also, the animation over uh, the bottom is still the same. God damn, Oppo has copied everything over here. Then you get the quick reboot, the super SUV to control your route, and the kernel auditor. Well, this is necessary because in order to flash this ROM, let me just tell you how you can flash it. You have to first flash a ROM, then you have to flash a custom kernel which can run Lollipop. I will leave a link in the description for that. And now, after that, installing everything, boot up your ROM, boot up your ROM, and then you have to install G apps. Well, it doesn't dim like iPhone. And after doing everything like that, you have to just flash your G apps right now. So hold on your power and volume down. There is the top. Go to the install search for your g apps and don't flash any other g apps the g apps are given in the link in the description the color g apps just flash that because it only consists of the play services and the play store nothing else junk which will make more problems for the rom the g apps has been installed let's just reboot the system right away so the rom has been booted with the g apps let's just take a look as you can see play store and the google settings are now present you can happily install your apps over here now let's just take a look at the recent apps because we have not seen it 
Okay. Does it look the same? Yep. It's still the same, but over here it doesn't uh, like show the home screen uh, right away, and the animation is bit uh, lame over here. Uh, over here, you do get a blur at the background, and also it's much. I will not say fluid, but it's uh, low. It looks much polished than over here. But you do get a clear RAM option. Wow, this color OS is very to like <laughs> totally ripped. The Apple can easily sue for this thing. From the icons to the theme and the animations, everything has been stolen from over here. I will also leave a link in the description for the eye launcher, which will totally make your color OS into a iOS. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this was a review of iOS rip on U Euphoria. This color OS is like garbage for Android. Thanks for watching. Peace.